Hi and welcome to the very first overview of the ACD ChemSketch freeware software. And uh, in this uh, model, I will quickly be uh, introducing you to the interface of the ACD ChemSketch software. And uh, firstly, I want you to know that there are two uh, basic uh, window form. We have the structure, which is actually this uh, view you are seeing, and the draw mode. The structure, which is this, and the draw mode. Now, each of these view have uh, a particular function you can use to carry out uh, uh, basic functions on your ACD chem sketch. Uh, so, but uh, briefly, I will just be introducing you to the structure mode of the ACD chem sketch. And the structure actually simply helps you to draw chemical structures effectively. Uh, why basically the draw mode enables you to insert uh, some uh, shapes and edit them uh, effectively so as to help you with some of the basic structures. Uh, so going back to the structure mode, I uh, will show you uh, some of the basic functions available. Now looking up here, uh, what we call the menus. So we have the file, the edit, the pages, the tools, templates, options, documents, add-ons, ACD labs, and help. Uh, so basically, I want to uh, begin with the file. Uh, on the file mode, you could see what you can do. You can open new, you can open, you can close. And on the right side here, you could also see some of the basic shortcuts you can use as new, which is Control N. Control O for open and Control W to close. You have save, save as save or export, import, run uh, cam basic, forms manager, page setup, print, print preview, and the likes. And when you get to edit, you also see some basic functions on that pages. Now we will be following detail in this uh, uh, tutorial, so I encourage you to follow uh, to the very end of this lesson uh, because we'll be looking at some of the basic things that will enable you draw chemical uh, structures and very complex ones effectively conveniently and within a short period of time and so these are some of the tools available and uh, we'll be looking at uh, that subsequently now here are the formatting tools here are the formatting tools as you can see them here uh, so I will not dive into that at the moment and here also are some of the formatting tools available. Uh, so but I will introduce you to some of the basic introductory tools that you need to get to know uh, on this software. Now here is actually the periodic table of elements so you can click that. So anytime you want to make do with any elements that are not available outside here on the tools you can come and click on any of them and paste onto the template window uh, so that is that and on your right hand side here is what we call the table of radicals and as you click that these are the available radicals that are on this very software uh, so straight ahead I will be uh, showing you some of the drop down menus you can be able to find and some of their basic functions uh, so you click on this to show buttons uh, so strictly is denoting uh, some of the the app functions using uh, uh, the uh, some of the symbols available as you can see this actually stands for select or move now basically if you want to start anything on this software all you simply need to do is your ability to uh, know the effective function you can use on that uh, so the next one is actually to select and rotate or to resize the next is 3D rotation. We have the loso on and off to draw normal, to draw continuous structure, and the likes. I will not want to discuss uh, that uh, extensively at this introductory level, but just to let you know that you can also know the effective functions of each of these variables you can see on this software by simply clicking on the drop down menu available here and it will describe to you with each function that each carries 
so you can also click on this drop down here so that you can be able to effectively see all the functions that are here now you can find out this drop down button in most of the basic functions and there i'll be guiding you quickly on how you can get there so next to that is this drop down menu here now once you click it it also gives you a definition of what these uh, variables also stand for and what you can effectively use them for and here also is uh, a drop down menu also that enable you to see some of the basic functions that are there and also here you can get to that also to see the basic functions that are available here so this is actually the window templates available this is the color pane so this is actually the overview of this particular software and in our next uh, module i will begin to show you how you can be able to edit and format on this so thank you for following to this very point as i will see you next in the next video you can like subscribe comment and if there are questions you may want to ask you can leave it in the comment section down below thank you for listening all right welcome to the continuation of still on the introduction on the interface of this uh, acd chem sketch software um so right ahead i will be uh, uh going through uh some of the uh templates here available um so quickly uh let me come here and pick uh, this uh benzene now anytime you pick it up you bring it up to the work area here and click now the moment you've done this you will have to return the two else it will always be on the moving uh, mouse uh, so anytime you drop a structure and you are done and you don't need it any longer you are expected to drop it here at peak and it goes off uh, entirely uh, so let me get again another benzene ring so that i'm going to place it side by side and this is how to place it you bring it closer and click now you noticed you drop the two you notice that the bond adjusted appropriately now this software has been designed to arrange the bonds conveniently uh, so most times when you do uh, certain combinations that are actually wrong uh, the system is actually going to show you with an indication of a sign crossed that means the bond arrangement is actually uh, wrong uh, so do your best as much as you can uh, to effectively arrange these compounds the way uh, they should be uh, so therefore you can come again and pick another benzene ring and place it side by side to this and anytime you are done you can return your two uh, more so if you still want to perform the same function you can still do this without dropping the two you can you can do this as much as you can all you need to do is just to set it appropriately then drop the tool as it should uh, so this is how you can be able to make use of uh, some of the templates here. I also actually pick uh, this a cyclohexane also here so that I can demonstrate to you something very briefly. Uh, now this is actually now a cyclohexane. Uh, here also is what uh, a, a five chain uh, ring. Now if you try to bring it uh, closer, you see it's wanting to attach at this point. So you can also try that for this. You could also do this. Or preferably, maybe I want to drop it at this. Now, anytime you want it to appear like this, it has to be at the edge. But if you want it to attach at the side, you could also bring it uh, to this very place. So I want to place it here. And I also want to place it at, uh, at this point. I also want to place it at this point. I also want to place it at this point so note very uh, carefully that if you want it to appear on this side you just need to click up here uh, while the template is still available for you for use uh, so straight ahead I will pick uh, this uh, uh, the format group and maybe try to attach it here now you see the moment I do this the moment I do this is going to appear on this pane as such so this is how you can be able to make use of some of these uh, templates that are available um, so I will still uh, get back to my elements here available now you can decide to attach uh, any of these uh, elements uh, to these uh, groups uh, so quickly I just want to make do with oxygen here now the moment I click here the oxygen group will be added so also likewise here so also likewise here 
so depending on actually the nature of the structure you want to actually draw uh, so maybe perhaps the radical you want to use is not really here you can click here on the radical table where you can have as much as many uh, you can make use of uh, so maybe I just want to use of this uh, phosphate tool and I will just click on it and get it on my page so this is how you can be able to make use of some of these uh, ready-made uh, templates that are available on this uh, software so I will proceed uh, further to be showing you uh, some of the basic functions we can do so please ensure that uh, you carry out these functions as uh, demonstrated in the video so that you can be able to maximize a uh, proper output uh, from this um, so quickly before i round up this section of this tutorial i want to show you how you can save it so quickly you can get to your file and get to save now once you click on save uh, it will show you uh, might be the location you want to save it as now uh, that's not my basic concern for this so I will just say chem sketch chem sketch uh, now these are the formats type you can do save them as uh, maybe subsequently I will be giving you a work to do and it will be required to be converted to any of these forms and this is how you can simply do it now anytime you go to the save option get to save as and click on now you can save this as a portable network a graphic which is a png you can save it as a jpeg format you can save it as a gif image you can save it as an adobe page you can save it also as a document so now uh, i just want to save this as uh, a pdf which is an adobe page and quickly click on save as so actually i paste this on my desktop so quickly i will hit on save and this document is actually safe so quickly uh, you can go to my desktop and I'll be able to access it as it is uh, so this is how you can be able to save uh, documents as such so thank you for listening and I hope to see you in the subsequent videos please follow through to the end of uh, this session so that you have a full benefit of this very course thank you once again